This is what I live for. Welcome back everybody. So today I am at Tesnati Gap. I'm already starting to climb up a little bit because it's been very windy and plus there are people coming. You know how I feel about people. <laughs> so I'm out here today because I got a message on Instagram from a gentleman named Daniel who is a photographer and takes these gorgeous pictures of nature. And he reached out to me and said I need to check out Tessany Gap. And so here I am. Thank you, Daniel, for the suggestion. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Check it out. Let's get it. in some hot hands though so bound to happen. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Now, I don't know how long this trail is. Um, I can probably look it up here in a second. But right now I'm just walking. It doesn't look very high. So, we'll see. Check out this. Uh, it's just like these little strings of ice that get pushed up through the ground. <laughs> and it pushes the dirt up. Oh. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, that broke all of it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 
I did not bring the proper gear for this hike. Uh, okay. I think we're almost there. Alright. Alright. I'm having a hard time. Only because it's so windy. And it's so cold. My ears are killing me right now. I'm trying to like hide behind trees and get out of like, like block myself from the wind. And nowhere I go is it enough to help any. I'm getting like icicles. <laughs> it's not even that cold. It is cold, but it's not like temperature wise it's not. But the, the wind, dude, is so bad. Ah, shit. I'm gonna keep going though. Gotta keep going. So I found a temporary solution, which might look a little weird, but I carry little handkerchiefs, bandanas with me, and I'm covering up one ear at a time to kind of temporarily have some relief from this wind, but it's brutal. <laughs> oh, with the ice, oh gosh, bro. There's a lot of icicles everywhere. There's some under that rock. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a bunch of rocks over here. I get to walk up too. Check out this. How cold it is, man. It's freezing. And there's all some of these up here as well. And there's some hanging off the rock over there too. And you can see how high I am already. Oh. But uh, you gotta watch where you place your feet. Check this out. You know I want to pull one off so bad, but I'll let nature do its thing. The wind has stopped for a brief moment, which is awesome. I have a hot hands in my pocket that aren't doing anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cold. But yeah, I mean, the view's definitely worth it. Of course I'm gonna keep going. I just gotta take breaks every now and then, bro.
I realized before, or yeah, before I got distracted by this view, that there are these white blazes on the ground and they lead up over in that way. So I think there's another view over there. So I'm gonna keep on going. All right, let's go. All right, so I was right. There is another view. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> I know I'm saying that bruh a lot, I'm sorry, but yeah. Oh. This is what I live for. <sighs> okay, you ready? Sorry. I guess I could share the moment with you. Whew. Look at that. You can see the folds in the Earth's crust over there. That sounds very sciencey, but like, damn. Just all the mountains. <sighs> this is amazing. <laughs> Other, I guess third view over that way and there's another little trail that's walking down this way but it's kind of walking more into the woods um, but I think I'm gonna turn back maybe I'll explore that another time um, when I'm with somebody else if I have somebody with me um, one I'm really cold <laughs> um, but two I want to go make sure that my car is still parked down at the bottom of the mountain um, so I am gonna make my way back. Oh, my lips are frozen. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way back to my car and I will meet you guys down there. 
Um, I'm gonna probably not film on the way down, mainly because I'm so cold, but also I'm kind of just ready to get back down. Man, I also want to give my hands a chance to uh, warm up a little bit in my pockets as well. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys back down there. Of course, if I see anything else, I'll uh, check in with you. But for right now, I'm gonna go and I'll check in in a minute. Okay. All right, guys, so I made it down to my car. Well, not yet, but I can see my car, so it's still there. Woo um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. On the way down, I had to make my my bandana into like a makeshift mask for my face. I don't know why coming up and down the mountain, the wind is brutal. Once you get up there, it's fine. <laughs> um, but I wanna give a huge thank you to Daniel for recommending this spot. This is one of my favorites so far, so thank you so much. Um, I kinda gave him a little intro in the beginning, but I was talking really fast. I don't know if you guys could understand me. <laughs> so, um, a guy, a gentleman, messaged me on Instagram um, and we kind of chatted a bit how much he liked my content and all that and uh, his name is Daniel so shout out to Daniel he actually suggested this spot it's a uh, test testnity I think it's called uh, gap so you guys come on out here it's a great spot um, the trail is strenuous um, there is a lot of rocks you have to climb over especially in the winter time uh, and because it's been raining a little bit Things are starting to freeze over, so it's kind of icy. Um, definitely coats, gloves, you know, something for your face for sure. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite spots so far. The view is amazing. Definitely work worth the um, the trek up the mountain here. But thank you again, Daniel. This is awesome. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. And yeah, be safe out there. All right, guys. See you later.